This is like one of the few things in Pro Tools that really bugs me that it's not fixed by now. <laughs> Okay, so really honestly and genuinely, this does bother me pretty often when I'm working, um, especially when I'm working with clients and they're recording MIDI and they want to do something like loop recording, right, where it automatically playlists so you can then go through your takes afterwards, right? And we do that with audio all the time. I have videos about doing that with audio, so I'll put um, a card or some cards up on the screen for you in case you want to see those. Um, but I'm not going to be digging into like all the details of loop recording and playlisting right now. Um, what I wanted to talk about was how this relates to MIDI specifically. So for example, when you go to loop record, right, with audio, you want to make sure loop records checked off, loop playbacks checked off. And if you want to be extra and be extra, extra sure, um, what you can do is let me just find it really quickly. Yeah. So right here, you make sure that automatically create new playlists when loop recording is checked off. And those are kind of the three settings that I always check before starting a loop record um, if it's like a brand new session. Right. So um, with that said, you would then hope that if you made a cycle of time, so I'll just do a really short amount of time here, and I have my uh, track record enabled. So I have sound, it's going through, right? Now if I hit record, I start playing stuff. Right? You would hope that I would make a playlist for each one. So I just did a whole bunch of them there, right? So um, if I go, just like I do with audio, and try to find a playlist mode to look at this track, it is not here. You'll notice it's not an option here, which then might cause some panic, right? But it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay, right? So what you might do then is be like, okay, maybe it's here though, because you know, in an audio track, you would have all your playlists listed here, but there's just one. So now you might get even more worried. <laughs> this is, I've lived this, can you tell? So now you might get even more worried, right? Um, and so basically, this is just how Pro Tools is, unfortunately. I don't know why they have it this way. I'm sure there's some reason why. Um, it's probably, something's difficult, right? But um, I really hoped they would have this fixed by now. So, you know, if you're from Avid, please fix this. I would love for this to be fixed. Um, but with that said, it's not total loss because what you can do if you know exactly where you started recording, which is a little easier when we're in grid mode, right? Um, you know, I started recording on the downbeat here. Um, what you can do is you can look over here at your clip list. If your clip list is not displaying, you can bring it out by clicking this little arrow here and viewing it. And then you can see that all my different takes are here. So it went through like six times, right? So if I click and drag one of these out, I can view that take, right? So it's not totally lost, but I'm like, if they're able to do this and break it up into separate takes, why can they not have that playlist view? Why can they not automatically have our playlists here for, you know, like, honestly, drives me crazy. Um, so, you know, your takes are not lost. This is just a lot more annoying and difficult to deal with than having like a playlist view or being able to cycle through your takes really quickly and easily. Um, but you can do things this way, drag and drop and listen, drag and drop and listen, drag and drop and listen, and then pick the one you like, right? It's not ideal, but it is an option. Now, the other thing you can do, and this is often what I end up doing with clients, is you can do your recording. So, you know, do your recording. I'm just hitting random notes. Do your amazing recording. That's my masterpiece. And then you go and manually create a new playlist. This is the thing that drives me crazy. They do have these playlists here. Um, and you know, for example, if I want to go back to my old playlist, here it is. If I was like, oops, I wanted to keep all this stuff and just have, you know, something to overwrite here, I could go and duplicate. It's the same as when we work with audio, right? Or at least this part is. Um, and now I can record a new one. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so you can do things that way, and then you will have all these takes to cycle through, and they are on the playlist in time. And so that's what I like about that, is that I don't have to drag and drop and worry about whether or not I got the timing right, um, or, you know, whatever. It's just to me, it's a little bit easier than dragging and dropping, is to just click and do new or duplicate. Um, so those are kind of the two ways that I found to work around this thing. Um, but today, I thought I would just, you know, talk about that. So I hope 
someone finds that interesting or helpful or someone out there struggling with this right now, um, hopefully this might help you. I'm sorry that there's not a better fix. I'm really sorry. Um, if anyone knows of a better fix, please, please, please let me know. I would love to know about it. Um, comment below or something or DM me on Instagram or something. It's at Kato Noise. With that said, I think that's everything I wanted to cover today. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff all the YouTube stuff. I'd appreciate it. I have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And we have additional content. We have a Discord server. We have a book club that's all about audio engineering and music production. It's been a lot of fun. And I do early release videos for my patrons as well. So if you want to help support my channel, please feel free to check that out. I am a small channel, so it really, really helps. And thank you so much to my Patreon patrons. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out okay honestly avid i don't say this very often but please 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 fix this one or at least explain to me why it can't be fixed i need to know the why if i'm going to accept it <laughs> okay that's it i'm this is not this is not a rant video is this a rant video this might be a rant video it's not it's not really a rant video right okay bye <laughs>